Hey folks, welcome to Dave Shields Fitness. My name's Dave and I'm here to bring you today how to do the perfect push-up. Okay, so why do you need to be able to do the push-up? Well, it's a fantastic exercise. It's, it's one that you can do it anywhere. You don't need any equipment. You only need your body weight. And it's also a compound exercise, which means it works a number of muscles in your body. So it works your, your chest, your triceps at the back here, and your shoulders, okay? It even gives you your core a bonus workout as well. Also, there are plenty of progressions. So if you can do the standard push-up, then you can push yourself a little bit harder. And uh, we've got some progressions that I'm gonna show you today so that you can give, get even more benefits out of this exercise. Don't worry if you're thinking, well, that's all well and good, but I can't even do a push-up. We've got you guys covered as well. So we've got some regressions, which will show you how to get started and also some exercises that you can do that are gonna build up the, the muscles and the areas that you're gonna to need to do a push-up. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start with a demonstration of uh, the classic push-up. Then I'm gonna show you some regressions. So, so uh, exercises you can do to start with if, if you can't actually do a press-up. And then I'm gonna show you some progressions that are gonna be uh, a little bit harder uh, and um, they'll require a little bit more effort. So, you know, you're gonna get more gains if you can actually do a press up uh, yourself already. Now, in terms of how many you do, the sets and the reps and all the rest of it, well, you're looking at really the classic push up, being able to do 10 perfect form push ups. Now, you don't want to forget why you're actually doing this exercise in the first place. It's to get you stronger, okay? It's to get your body stronger. So you don't want to be skipping, rushing through, you know, press-ups. You know, I want to do 20, I want to do 30 press-ups and then sort of missing the form. So you want to aim for perfect form. That way you get maximum tension on your muscles so you get most of the benefit out, okay? So it's quality over quantity with this particular exercise, okay? So you're looking for perfect form. So sets of 10 of the classic push-up, you can do three sets of 10, then progress that up to 15 and if you can do 15 then start to look for the more progressive exercises that make it a little bit harder okay so there are invariable number of progressions you're just limited by your imagination okay so without further ado let's look at a, a demonstration of the classic push-up okay you can see here we've got a nice straight body the arms are out at 45 degrees and there's lots of body tension in there with a neutral head. Okay, so if you're struggling to keep this position, then what you need to do first of all is to raise your hands. Now this will make it quite a bit easier and the higher your hands are, the easier it'll become. So I'm thinking you can use a tabletop or a kitchen sink or even against the wall. Now, if you again, if you're struggling to hold body tension, then doing some core exercises some plank holds, shoulder taps, things like that, then this is gonna to help to strengthen that core and help with your body tension. So doing this for a couple of minutes a day will uh, pay dividends. Now, if you want to make it even harder, you can raise your feet, the higher, the harder it is, or you can try diamond push-ups, which really emphasizes the triceps, but these are more advanced. So don't move on to these till you've really got the basic core push-up nailed. Okay, so you've looked at the different progressions and regressions, some common mistakes with the push-up. Okay, there's people kind of tend to make the same mistakes when it comes to doing push-ups. And the, the first one is they don't have body tension. So they don't tighten their core. So you see like a really saggy core like you can see here. And it's, it's just, you know, it, it doesn't look very good, but also it'll put strain on your, your lower back. So, um, no body tension is a problem to look out for. The next thing is your elbows out to 90 degrees right out to the side. Okay, so your elbow should be at 45 degrees or, or even less than that in, into your body. Now, the reason why you don't want your elbows out too far and flared out then is that it's just gonna put extra tension onto your shoulders, which could cause an injury. 
And another mistake you get quite often is people rushing them, okay? So just, just doing really, you know, quick, trying to do really quick push-ups, okay? Remember what I said earlier, it's about quality over quantity. So I, I would normally say the eccentric phase, which is the down phase, then you want to be, you know, about two seconds count to go down and then an explosive up and then two seconds down and an explosive up, okay, like we can see here. Okay, so watch out for these common mistakes. Okay, folks, so there we have it, how to do the perfect push-up. Hopefully, you've got loads to go out there. Before we um, finish, I just want to say that uh, if you want to head over to, to Dave Shields Fitness, Dot com. I've got uh, plenty of info on there around about training, nutrition, that sort of thing. Um, also on Facebook as well at Dave Shields Fitness, there's uh, an active Facebook group on there that you can have a look at and uh, join if you would like. And uh, we're watching out for plenty more videos. If you've got some value from this video then please just give me a like it does help and even consider subscribing to the channel there's going to be lots more info around mindset around movement different exercises and also around nutrition as well so those three key areas and if you need any help with your training if you're, you're getting stuck then head over again on the website there is um an area where it tells you about my brand new online training uh, transformation package that you could have a look at where uh, you'll get all the help you need for your training and uh, your nutrition and your mindset to help you to get in the best shape of your life okay guys thanks for watching and uh, watch out for uh, more videos in the future okay cheers <laughs>